Dziaka. Hi guys, do you know what sea waves are and where they come from? Let's find out. Notice how the ball rises and falls on the waves. Hence, the surface of the sea, when it is wavy, behaves the same way. Parts of the water surface rise and fall. We can create a wave model ourselves. For this, we need a simple rope. Together with a friend, take the rope by the ends and move away from each other so that the rope sags but does not touch the ground. And now only one participant in the experiment should raise and lower the end of the rope. The second participant simply holds the rope. Look, we've just created a wave. A gymnast creates waves in a similar way when performing with a ribbon. She simply moves the handle up and down, or left and right. Let's get back to our rope. The end of the rope that we hold in our hand rises and falls. The scientific name for this is vertical oscillation. Since all parts of the rope are connected to each other, lifting one of them causes the next one to rise, but with some delay. The end of the rope in our hand goes down and again draws the following fragments of the rope with it. The resulting oscillation spreads into the distance. Such a propagation of the oscillation is called a wave. If you gather a group of friends, you can demonstrate this wave yourself. Now let's create waves on the water by throwing a rock on the calm surface of this pond. Look, there are circles on the water. These are the same waves as you see in the sea, only smaller. The rock pushed a certain amount of water down when it fell. And the level of the water surface in this place decreased. But the water has not disappeared. It has simply been displaced from its current position, causing the nearby surface to rise. The surface of the water then returns to its original level, and the wave spreads further. At the very spot where the stone fell, the water is not just returning to its original level, but it is also rising higher. Then it goes down again, and so it continues for a while with a decrease in the amplitude until the surface of the water stops. After that, the last circles will decrease, and the waves will disappear. So how are big waves in the sea formed? Of course no one threw a huge rock into the water. The role of the stone in this case is played by the movement of air, more specifically, the wind. Air presses on the surface of the water, and with the wind this pressure is constantly changing. Therefore, the surface of the water begins to oscillate, and waves arise that propagate into the distance. <laughs> 